Time for another BTS vlog. That's right. It is time and date stamp. 17 hours and 20 and 12 minutes into the day of Monday, January 20th, 2014. Yeah, this is the BTS vlog for uh, January 20th and 21st. Vlogmas is now over. Yep, no more Vlogmas until next year. We had just about 50 days of Vlogmas. And this is about the average time uh, that you have for feasts in the church. So, uh, <laughs> uh, basically, what happens, and I'll be taking you through. I'll be taking you through the uh, the Passover uh, or the uh, what we call the Pascha uh, feast. And the, now, Pascha feast does actually last longer than the Christmas feast does. And uh, because there's 50 days before the, the Pascha feast, the feast of it, the itself, there's 50 days before, and then there's 50 days afterwards. So, in total, there's about 100 days there of, of a Pascha feast. Uh, and I'm going to vlog that whole section there. I've got an idea what I'm going to call it, but uh, I'll wait till we get there and you'll be able to see it then. Otherwise, what's happening is that we're on a new production schedule for 2014. We are producing... Uh, a significant amount more content and that's what you should see as they start pulling these the different pieces of, the, of my uh, research puzzle together you'll see more content coming out you'll see new shows being developed so we are now moving towards more towards the open IP TV format where you will be able to watch TV on this channel this is gonna be a you know like a regular TV channel where you'll be able to come and, and choose the shows that you want to watch and watch as much as you watch as much of the show as you want watch as little as the show as you want watch whatever you want to watch on here and you can watch it all everywhere from your phone to your TV that's where we're going that's where we're heading uh, and so for 2014 we are gonna be doing uh, spending more time on show development, we uh, I was able to get uh, the new scheduling in place so that uh, we can do that. We can do the uh, the uh, the uh, new show development. So you'll be seeing that boy. Oh, excuse me. The weekends are always a little rough, so I do need to take time. I do need to take time off on Mondays, and that's what's happening here. I'm taking some time off. I'm taking a down day today. I'm still doing work. The goal goal is to see on the down days when I'm in this sort of uh, uh, sort of called vacation mode, how much work I can get done. And the vacation mode is not necessarily a vacation mode. What it is, it's uh, it's downtime. It's time that uh, uh, you spend without without worrying what you have to get done. So. You're just kind of milling around, doing whatever. <sighs> but in this case here, I'm doing some more work on, on 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 the entire institute itself and all the different connections to the institute. And I've got two more things to do today, two more segments of the uh, the research puzzle to put together. Uh, then you'll start see, you'll start seeing this as as we move along. I'll start showing you some more of the some more elements of the research puzzle. Show you how everything's put together, and you'll start seeing this spread out further and further and further and further. So, um, it is going to be something that's going to be interesting to watch, to see, uh, and then beyond that. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but last night uh, I went over uh, uh, my, my friend's house, Fortinin. Uh, we always go over some place, somebody's house for for a uh, photo or for Christmas or something like that. There is this going out to these houses for for name days for for feasts. 
And I do really enjoy it. Like I didn't, I enjoy going out to different pieces of people's house, even though, as I stated before, I said I stated before, I don't necessarily feel connected with a lot of different people. Uh, I do my best, and I do enjoy being out there. So, uh, for me, it's you know it's a good thing. I that's something that I do enjoy. I do enjoy, and I really enjoyed myself on Sunday night. I wish I could do more of it, but the the way it work is the way I, I end up doing all my studying like this. It's uh, there isn't that much time to spend out because I spend more of my time studying. And even when I am out, uh, invariably at some point in time, my mind goes back to work. Ooh, goes back to work thinking about different things. And this being the case, as I said before, we're doing, um, we're going to be um, doing uh, a special, a BTR, BTR, uh, BBTRL special for uh, uh, the girls on YouTube anniversary. We're going to create a documentary, hopefully sometime mid-February. This means that because we're getting towards the, the uh, month of February, we're coming into that, that February month, we're, we're getting into the latter half of, uh, or sort of the later half of uh of uh, January, that means we're going to start bringing uh, some of the content, uh, some of the notes, the preliminary notes uh, for the uh, BBTRL, BBTRL special uh, girls on YouTube. Uh, that content's going to start coming in here. And the thing is, is that there are a lot of different channels on the internet for girls, or no, and by girls, I should say. Uh, and there, there isn't, there isn't a, there isn't a typical type of channel. Girls do on their channels do to have a typical behavior, but it's not, it's not. I always, I would, I always say, if from my experience on, on on YouTube, in my choice of channels, I prefer the girls' channels over the boys' channels, and in general, in the general uh, choices. Uh, I often, you'll see this more often than not, you'll see that I'll choose girls' channels over boys' channels. Uh, most of the boys' channels, uh, if they're going to if they're gonna be guys, they're going to talk about the guys and girls, girls on YouTube, boys on YouTube. Uh, the boys' channels are standard. If it's not, tech, if it's not technical or science-oriented, you know, then it's about uh, guns and boobs. That's basically your category. Uh... When you go to girls' channels, there's a whole bunch you actually can do with it. There's, a, there's an enormous amount beyond the sort of the center, of the uh, guns and boobs. There are, there are the, uh, the you know the girls who do sort of fall on the guys format and try to be like the guys on YouTube. But then there are also girls out there, and these channels are not necessarily the channels that are popularly listed that do significantly more. And you can do cultural studies. You can do uh, a history of music on YouTube. YouTube actually, if you sit down and look at, it, is a real research library. You can do a lot of research on it. That's what I've what I've learned how to do, is to do a lot of research on YouTube, and use it almost like the Library of Alexandria. Like you know, it's just an immense library that you can wander around and learn things out. Uh, anyways, our time is almost up for this first segment. I will come back later on tonight to give you the second segment and uh, talk more about uh, girls on YouTube. All right. Bye-bye. This is a relative thing. Anyways, it's time for the next segment of the uh, BTS Vlogs for uh, January 20th and 21st. Let's give you the time and date stamp. Alright. It is 2 hours and 46 minutes into the day of Monday, January 20th. Uh, oh, yeah. Tuesday, January 21st, 2014. So let's do this again. It is 2 hours, 46 minutes into the day of Tuesday, January 21st, 2014. Yeah, when you work late nights, sometimes uh, you're doing a lot of studying. You... you that your days kind of slip away from you, so that's kind of what happens here. Yeah, you know, success is kind of a bizarre thing because uh, even though you move things forward <clears throat> and make progress during the day, it never seems to be enough. <laughs> so uh, that being said, you know, it's, it's 
I had a pretty good day, and let's say it's two o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was just going over some of my mu so, some of the stuff in my music library, listening to stuff I had sort of picked up way back in, uh, and this is it, way back in two thousand seven. Uh, and it's bizarre because I was picking stuff up way, way back in 2000, and, and, and it it does seem like a long time. 2007, in terms of computers and what systems I had, it seems like seems like a long time ago. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, well, this is this is one of the more difficult parts is that uh, uh, things always change. Things always need improvement and development. Uh, I was working on my Insta vlogs and realizing, uh, even as even a few months ago in, in November, the Insta vlogs were still really rough and and then they well they are st are still very rough and raw. That uh, I said, well these are my uh, research notes and they are the research notes. But the thing is, research notes come in a variety of forms. It's not simply one form of notes. Uh, I realized that I had to have two sets of notes. I had to have I have primary notes. That's what I have here in front of me now. Is my primary notes, and then I have the Insta vlog notes. And the, the Insta vlog notes are the more developed notes. They're, they're the notes, the organized notes that develop out of the primary notes. The primary notes are unorganized. There's no particular order to them. There, there's no structure to them. They're just notes as I coming along. As I, as I go along, I have these ideas. Jot them down. Those are the primary notes. Then from the primary notes, you go to the Insta vlog because you now start as you start collecting your notes, you go through your notes, you see how you want to organize things, you see how maybe how you want to organize your thoughts, and these become the the well, the, the notes that um, that um, uh, that are part of the Insta vlog. And see, instead of forming simple files, you now have a notebook filled with notes. With different chapters and subheadings, and you know, uh, so you have a you have an organized structure to your notes. I'm actually using on my note system. My note system is uh, for the secondary notes for Insta vlogs is so large uh, that I'm actually using a wiki system on my network here uh, to store my notes because it's, it's, it's gotten so large. And that I still do have to go in and sort of reorganize my notes again. Every once in a while, you have to go in, you fix things up, and change things around, uh, adjust uh, how you've done things. Let's say uh, you haven't been in a section of notes for a while, and then you go back into it, and, you, and you've changed your views on things. Then you have to readjust your notes to reflect these changes. Uh, and the, with a wiki system, you can do that. It, it makes it easy, a lot easier, to change how you approach your note-taking system uh, with a wiki system. And this is sort of what, what how, how I decided that uh, within uh, the BTS logs, one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in the primary notes uh, that will eventually form the notes that will go into Insta vlogs. So we're working on the um, primary notes for girls on YouTube. Uh, this is the uh, BBTRL uh, Girls on YouTube Anniversary Special, which will be out in February. And one of the things I realized I've got to, I've got to work on because I am going to film the back in the other in the other uh, room on the couch there is that room on the couch there needs uh, I need to do some work on upgrading the sound uh, and doing improvements on the sound. So uh, I am going to try to work that out. I do got to have to do a couple more test shots. Uh, I think more often, I think it's primarily an issue on the editing bench that I can do the work to sort of uh, boost the sound on the editing bench, on the edit in the editing bay. Uh, so if that can be done, that, that's sort of going to be sort of tested out and see well, how things work like that. Uh, but the thing is, is that we are going to start move, moving along with uh, more of the Insta vlogs now that the sort of uh, I got the Ubuntu Beast Unis out, uh, and the is the notes for that for the, for the next episode is already up. They're already out there, and we are moving along with the ways. I actually have now uh, Insta vlog note uh, the, the the production notes for uh, the next episode of Beauty and the Geek. So uh, we're gonna try to bring everything back in line. We're gonna try to get everything done uh, in our schedule, but it's. It's often sometimes a very difficult thing to do because there are a lot of things that sort of line up 
and have to be done. And at some points in time during the day, you do get tired, you do get exhausted, and things kind of slip your mind. So <laughs> it's either sometimes sometimes the days are good, sometimes the days are bad. Uh, let's see here. We got about a minute left uh, of talking time. Well, I think I'll leave it. Oh, I think I'll leave it here. Uh, <laughs> and I'll say good night because I am tired, and I'll see you uh, when I get up again. Alrighty, take it easy. Alrighty, it's time for the next segment of the BTS vlogs. That's right, it's time for a time and date stamp. It is 23 hours and 46 minutes into the day of Thursday, Tuesday, January 21st, 2012. Yeah. These vlogs are getting later and later, and it appears as if my um, my sleep schedule is kind of shifting a little bit. But we'll see what happens. Uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to do something a little different right now. Yes, I know we're preparing for the Insta vlogs. I'm working on the graphics on the Insta vlogs. So we're going to get to the uh, anniversary special for girls on YouTube. But at this point in time, uh, we're going to do a tag. Take a little... Uh, a little uh, break from uh, our usual stuff and do a tag. This is from uh, Kitty's mom. They were, uh, I think, there's a video uh, they were worked on together with between uh, Kitty's mom and uh, mommy and Gracie. The uh, uh, those two channels there. So uh, let's here it goes here. I'm not. This is an, an either or thing, but I'm not. A, I'm never an either or person. I'm usually a combination of either or or or, or both. <laughs> so let's see here. Uh, boots or sneakers? Primarily boots, uh, but if not boots, um, it's gonna be uh, a croc. So <laughs> that's how that. Summer or winter? Both. Both summer and winter. I'm a, I like summer and I also like winter. I've gone camping in summer and I've gone camping in winter. So. Yay. Uh, pancakes or waffles? Waffles. I find uh, pancakes sometimes, if they're not done right, uh, they're a little too uh, doughy and mushy, but the uh, uh, a, a good waffle keeps its uh, shape nice. Uh, picky pie or rarity? Either. I don't really have a particular favorite doll. Uh, I, I, I do like making movies with them or drawing them or something like that, but... Uh, but uh, Otherwise, it doesn't really matter to me uh, which one it is. <sighs> ocean or lake? Usually, I prefer an ocean, but if there's no ocean around, uh, I don't mind lake either. You know, it's whatever it's around. Uh, bike or rollerblades? I think bike right now. I was considering rollerblades, but uh, if you don't have a smooth road to uh, ride on, it's kind of hard and uh, to. Uh, do rollerblading on the sidewalk. So, <laughs> cats or dogs? I get along with both, but I usually prefer dogs. I'm a dog person. Uh, Finn or Jake? Eh. Let's take Jake. Although for me, it's more it's more along the lines of Phineas and Ferb. That's the type of cartoons that I I, I usually like. Or the Disney or Disney or uh, Nickelodeon shows. Uh, let's see, uh, Frankie or Dracolora, again, two dolls. I'm more particular to Dracula because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge Dracula fan. Yeah. So I'll take that. Cleo or Apple? Uh, I'm Middle Eastern, Syrian, this is kind of, that's a, that's kind of close to, uh, Egypt. Egypt and, uh, Syria had, uh, the exchanges between cultures, so I'll go with, I'll go with Cleo. And that's the uh, tag for Kitty's Mom. I will uh, put this in in, in the uh, in their link to let them know when the video is up. But uh, it's gonna take a couple days because I'm a little backlogged on the editing bay with uh, a number of episodes. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's it for this particular tag. I'm gonna leave it short. I'm uh, I'm gonna leave this segment here. I'm gonna tag. Let's just say the the, the segment. Uh, I'm going to leave it short here. I'm not going to sort of push it to the edge. 
and uh, I'll come back a little later on and uh, do the uh, last uh, segment for the now of the day. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Time for another BTS vlog, another segment, anyways. There we go. Timer started. Time for time and date stamp. It is 15 hours and 5 minutes into the day of Wednesday, January 22nd, 2014. Wondering what's happening. Hey, because it's the 22nd and we're doing the last segment of the BTS vlog, which was supposed to be for the 21st. Well, as you know, my days often rotate. And that meant that yesterday I didn't finish until about... Uh, Ooh, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And by that time, I was uh, in no condition to do the BTS vlog. So, we're starting once again. Is that uh, is it, I want to cover in the vlogs as much of the day as I possibly can. And that means that sometimes, yeah, the day is going to be dead bang on. It will be, you know... One day, the next day, and then sometimes when we're uh, working, when I'm uh, studying uh, late into the night, uh, it means uh, that uh, because I'm finishing uh, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning the next day, that the uh, vlog will have to sort of uh, be extended to cover this, uh, this uh, expansion in time. In terms of the work time, the work period, uh, and that would uh, sort of calculate. I was trying to sort of see, well, because I was just com um, coming out of my sleep deprivation, sort of measuring the uh, amount of productive time I have. I came out basically uh, doing uh, six hours a day. Then I was at ten hours a day, uh, and then just a couple of days ago over the weekend, I was at uh, a twelve-hour day, and now. Uh, I did, uh, you see, it was, it was um, I got up at 3 o'clock yesterday, I got up at 3 o'clock yesterday, this is around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, yesterday, uh, on the, tw on the, uh, sort of, on the 21st, and I didn't finish until, uh, basically 3.30 in the morning, so that was a 12-hour day, but today, even though I finished, uh, at, th uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning and 3 o'clock, 3, 3, 3.30 in the morning uh, uh, I ended up getting up and starting the day around 2 o'clock so it looks like we're going to be able to push beyond the, uh, the 12 hour barrier and get into 13, 14 hour work days. We'll see what happens if that's the case here. But we are on track with our production schedule. This is it. You know, the, the thing is that um, what just went up today was uh, the uh, was the Insta vlogs. It was the read. The Insta vlogs was filmed on, in in November, back in November when I first started the crash. Uh, so it's been a month in the editing. Oh. Ugh. It's been a month in the editing bay, <laughs> but that how, that's sometimes how things go. It does take a while to get the graphics right, to get uh, your audio levels right. I was having problems with the audio levels. I've sort of resolved the problem with the audio levels in there. Uh, so I did get a better quality sound. I got a, more of the graphics in there, and I have new option for graphics in there. If you watch the video, you'll see uh, I have now an area. Uh, uh, to my right, to my right, I have my area to the right where the uh, there's a blank wall there. There's some of the stuffed animals, but there's a lot of empty space there, and that provides you with enough room to put a blackboard there, uh, a sort of a digital blackboard, and you can put graphics up there, you can put text up there, you can put a a extra information up there. In other words, uh, you can make it graphically interactive. So even though the graphic isn't physically there, you can put the graphic there and sort of uh, motion towards it, just the way you would do that if you were uh, uh, doing the weather and, and the person is on, actually on the green screen, and they kind of know where all the different parts are. And you can sort of say, okay, this is where Ohio is, this is where uh, Cleveland is. You know, you can, you, you can point out a lot of different things, a lot of different... Uh, 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 
interactively than if you were just simply talking about them. So in other words, we're going to try to bring in some more some more interaction into the in, in InstaVlogs, some of the graphical interactions now that we have the graphics working, uh, and we have a blackboard there now. We can do more uh, interactive graphics uh, and be more interactive with the InstaVlogs. If you have comments, don't forget leave your comments down below in, your, in, in, in the InstaVlogs. If you... Uh, also, uh, are producing videos that are, are sort of along these topics, you know, you, you can list them down below as well. You can list your videos down there. I don't mind having people list their videos if you want, you know, I'm working on a topic and you have a topic that you want to talk about, you know, and it's along, the, along these lines, you know, tell me about it. Tell, you know, tell everybody, tell everybody on the list about it, you know, because the more people who interact on the list, the better. Uh, I'm sure say on, on the on the video in the, in the comments down below. The more people who uh, interact, the better. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, things are going much better than they when they were. It looks like I'm going to be able to produce a lot more this week in terms of the uh, actual content uh, than I did the week before. Let's see if we can keep that up. If I can keep up this content pace, uh, the goal will be by this summer. Uh, in order to bring about a, a live open IPTV, right now we're doing IPTV, open IPTV on YouTube, uh, is video on demand. That's where we're, that's where we're at right now. We're on video on demand, uh, IPTV. But if we want to do live 24 seven, then what has to happen is that we have to be able to be, be able, we have to be able to, uh, do, uh, f this is using rotation, uh, if you do six hours rotated, uh, repeated every four hours, right? Every, every, you know, if you do six hours repeated every four times, that's 24 hours a day. You now have a 24-7 live science channel. So that's kind of where we're going. This is what we're aiming for. Uh, we're not there yet. But as I said, if, if this, over this week in the month, we can keep the production schedule up, then we're going we're gonna to be able to, to bring and start working towards live IPTV. And this is going to be open IPTV. It's not going to be your standard fair IPTV. And the difference is uh, between I standard fair IPTV and open IPTV, open IPTV does not have copyrights in it. This is a, uh, in many ways, like GNU, like open source, open IPTV is open. Uh, it, it is not restrictive. You, it's not country restrictive. We don't restrict contents on there in, in terms of... Uh, it's not that we're going to be putting porn on there. It's just that we're not politically restrictive. You know, it, it, you, in, in certain countries, you can't watch Disney because Disney doesn't want you to watch it because of copyright concerns. You know, that's restrictive TV. That's restrictive IPTV. Open IPTV is going to be different. Anyways, that's it for this vlog. I'll be back in a few hours uh, to start the next BTS vlog, and I'll see you then. Democratic Earth. Earth.